What's going on guys, Mitch here, and today we've got a couple pairs of socks that I wanted to show off here. Uh, these are the uh, collaboration socks from Fall Raven and Specialized. And what makes these so special is it tends to actually be the quality of the Fall Raven brand. Um, but more than anything, as we go into fall, we go into the cooler riding season where, you know, sweat management, wicking management is becoming more and more important. Uh, you know, it's good to have a solid merino wool pair or two of socks so that, uh, you you know, time out on the bike is a good time. So you're going to be seeing these in the vlogs. And uh, if you're new to the, to the channel, there's vlogs every Monday morning, uh, 5 a.m. Uh, my time mountain. So 7 a.m. Eastern. And uh, you'll see usually some shots of my shoes, my bike, all that stuff. So you will probably be seeing these um, in conjunction with a couple specialized torch shoes. And more than anything, as we go into the winter, uh, you'll probably be seeing Merino stuff more and more. So wanted to show you the socks, kind of what they come with, uh, more than anything as well. If you wanted to read the label on there, um, basically says the product is made by Fall Raven and specialized by Sweden and California by hiking and biking um, for discovering new trails and new perspectives where the air is fresh, the traffic is, traffic is gone, and the mind is clear. Let's pack our things and go. It's it's like a super outdoorsy brand, and uh, they just make really, really good stuff. And then not only that, I think we've got some UCI stripes, which I think look pretty sick. Um, on the back, they go into, obviously, uh, the sizing. So if you want to pause that and check that out, by all means, take a look. But uh, it is merino wool. Uh, these are a size large, and I wear size 12 shoes. So I should be on the upper end of mine, I imagine, 10 to 12 for men's US. And they are the same both sizes. Uh, so, you know, if you did want to take a look and, uh, you know, hack the system and see what kind of uh, materials you need for quality outdoor product, there you go. Now the main thing, I'm going to show the white one, just because the camera seems to pick up the white color a little better than the black. See how it's kind of hiding in the darkness a little bit on the black? So. Uh, I'm going to show you the white stuff, but they're they're essentially the same thing. So um, just remember these are off-white and black. And uh, to me it's more of a cream color. I don't know how the camera's going to pick that up, but uh, anyway, let's get into this. So a couple of the features that they say on them is that apparently there's a reinforced toe and heel, which is awesome. Um, lightweight footbed cushion, so that's kind of under your arch and seamless toe construction. So with most of the socks that I run, um, that's usually where they, feel, they fail. It's along the toe on the seam. So let's take a look at these. And kind of compare, well not so much compare, but let's take a look and see. Okay, so on the toe, there we go. On the toe, we can have a nice sewn line, but it's not on the tip around the edge here, where you'd think it would be. And that's literally where all my socks fail. Now there are a couple of brands doing uh, doing cycling socks, uh, Endure, or Outaway as, I, as uh, I think they're known now. And uh, you'll see them in my videos all the time. I love those socks, they work great, mostly because they're fairly inexpensive. But um, that's, you know, after about a year, they all fail there. So, and most socks do, and there's a couple brands out there, I want to say, uh, through the MLB sock brand, uh, I can't remember what they're called, but they sponsor Major League Baseball, and they make a, a lifetime warranty uh, sock, and the way they knit the toe is a little bit different than this, but uh, apparently it's got a warranty against that, and they're, they're not bad, they're expensive, but I don't know how cycling appropriate they are, they're more uh, outdoor and hikey. So for the, uh, for the bikers, obviously, we want, we want the logos. We want uh, the, the length. We want the fit nice and tight. Tight is right. Arrow's good. Um, I'm not going to throw these on my feet because, uh, unfortunately, my OnlyFans foot modeling account is uh, on hold right now. Um, so a couple things, though. I'll, I will say this that I noticed. So the top of the sock is definitely a lighter material than the bottom, and that's what we talked about earlier with how there's some arch support so I can feel it is thicker. So on these with merino wool, you're probably gonna wanna be aware if your shoes are super, super tight already with an athletic sock, I'm, I'm curious to know how these fit because it is pretty thick. 
but on top of the foot, that's where all your ventilation takes place, and hopefully you can kind of see that there. Nice quality stuff, really nice quality, I'm very impressed. And then obviously all the stitching on the toe, that looks really good as well. And then to top it off, you've got some cool specialized logos with uh, the Fall Raven logo in behind it, which is, uh, I wish I do, it looks like a fox or something. Uh, I don't know if it is or not, but uh, some kind of Fall Raven-y thing. And then we've got that really nice logo. And then on the inside, what do we got? Made in Italy. So if you're a big Italian guy, hopefully they're uh, meatball proof. If you want to spill your meatballs on the sock. I'm just kidding. But uh, a lot of wool stuff, as you know, in the cycling world does come from Italy. Uh, there you go. Large merino right on the inside. And one thing that I... Most people wouldn't do is probably turn these inside out and take a look at some of the stitching, but I'm not most people. So let's take a look. Ah, so we are getting some pretty cool stuff here. It is a little bit different. So there's your additional padding that we talked about on the inside. It's not just a thicker material, it's actually padded. So that's going to be really helpful in both insulating your foot as well as providing a little bit of uh, padding on the heel. Or maybe you're wearing this in a, a ski boot or a... Uh, hiking boot that's going to really help your heel on a long day and then on the inside of the toe it's stitched on the inside as well that's cool man this stuff is really really well made um, really impressed let's take a look at the black one just while I have you guys here may as well do a quick review but I would imagine it's the same same thing nice thick padding and this is right right while we're not using the uh, the black to show it off. The camera's not going to pick up all of these details. I can't imagine, but uh, yeah, whatever. I think white is where it's at for this stuff, and I think it looks a little better. So there you go. There's some Fall Raven socks. Uh, look for them in the vlogs. Look for them more than anything. Like look for them on Instagram, Mitch on Two Wheels. I uh, definitely plan on using these throughout the winter. And in, or through the fall and then into winter and uh, you know if, if you guys have ever ridden with merino in your life you'll know exactly why there's such a big following on merino wool yes it's heavier but it uh, it doesn't tend to stink if you sweat on it and the sweat beads literally right off of it um, the other thing with merino obviously or any wool is you have to be careful in how you store it because I believe uh, certain Certain bugs really like to eat it and lay eggs with it. So just be aware that sometimes if you put it away and you've got a bad closet with some uh, bugs in it, that you might come back and uh, your beautiful wool shirt or jersey could have uh, some spots on it from uh, bugs. So just be aware of that. Otherwise, that is it from me today. I apologize, my emails are going bananas, so I should probably jump back into that. But I did want to show the socks and talk about them prior to use. I know, uh, you know socks aren't a big topic on my channel, but uh, it's also an opportunity to show some of this, some of the little things on the merino wool side because, you know, I am in Canada, I ride through the winter, and, uh, you know, the, the proper gear really allows you to do that a lot easier than if you weren't able to, so. Alright guys, well thanks for stopping by, and any questions, leave them below, otherwise like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff watch the vlogs, and uh, leave a comment, okay? That's it. Peace, guys.